We just set sail and we're going pretty much dead downwind right now with just the Geno out. It feels so good to go downwind. We haven't gone downwind in so long. It's really nice. I miss it. We got the some lines in the water. We got the little flying fish on that one. And then on this one, we got that big train of fake squid and a nice big, what do you call it, chugger, lugger on the back of that. The purple and black one that's been lucky for us. So hopefully we catch a fish. We're in like 1600 feet of water right now. So this is where we were this morning and so those flamingos. So we're gonna go sail all the way to the south side of Long Key right here and then we're gonna turn and sail straight across right here to the very south tip of Acklands. Straight down there somewhere. And then from there, tomorrow, we'll go somewhere from over there, straight to Great Inagua, Matthew Town. 80 miles tomorrow. Should be light east wind, so we'll be on the reach. This is Haiti, that's Cuba, like right there. Head to Dominican Republic sometime after that. Right now, right here. We got a fish on. It's huge. Uh, we gotta throw in the sail fish. You think we lost it? No, we kind of lost him. Yeah, he's definitely still on there. You're just dragging him now, I think. Yeah, it's definitely a fish on there. I don't know what he is, maybe a barracuda. Yeah, barracuda, huh? Yep. Dang it, stupid barracuda. His teeth are so big. Now if it was a wahoo that size. Well, gave us some excitement, but definitely not dinner. Maybe the next fish will be yummy. Right? Right? And I think it's a tuna. What do you think? You got it, lovey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Catch! A skipjack tuna. We've caught one way in the past, but we let him go because, I don't know, Sierra thought you couldn't eat him. <laughs> yeah. Blame me. But today we're gonna try to eat them. Thanks, buddy. You'll be put to good use, I promise. Oh, 
gonna try to play this thing out. We are almost at our Anchorage for the night. Would you say that was successful? Yeah, we had an amazing sail. Beautiful we went sail. Fast, we caught a fish. We lost the lure, had a really big fish on, but it disappeared. But we made it before dark, so that's always a win. We had a little bit of downwind in the beginning, and then it was a beam reach. But it was awesome. And it felt so good to sail downwind again in some nice breeze because we haven't done that in a while, and we're not going to be doing that for a little while either because. Now we're going to be beating into the easterly trade winds, so that was kind of cool. Hello. Our average for that trip was 7.9 knots, including when we had all the fish on and we're curling in the sails and all that jazz. And our top speed was 11.8 knots. How many miles did we go? We went 31 miles. Nautical miles. How long did it take us? Three, four hours. 31.4 nautical miles, four hours. That's pretty dang good. Hey, Jenny. Ready? Go for it. So we're just about to go anchor right there and we're like a hundred yards from shore, two hundred maybe, but we see these birds diving right over here which is still in like hundreds of feet of water. So Sierra is putting out the line real quick. Could be a little tuna. Oh yeah, no, it's shallow. 40 feet. Now nah, let's see if something's, whoop, something bites it. All right, Scratch, I was wrong. It's not hundreds of feet of water, it's only 40 feet of water. The hundreds of feet of water is like another 50 yards that way. Oh well, so much for a last ditch effort for another fish. Birds left. Looks pretty rocky. Yeah, it does. Nice. Hey, hey, good. Good job. Somehow we managed to lose all the footage of our 85 mile sail from Acklands Island down to Great Inagua. We hit a few squalls and it took all day but we eventually got there and we anchored just on the west side of Great Inagua off a settlement called Matthew Town. And this is what we found on Great Inagua. Leave your best guess of what this is in the comments below and we'll see you next time.